Welcome back here at five as news of the East Crossroads potential site began to emerge. The anxiety rose for businesses and property owners within that potential footprint for downtown baseball. And now that it's official, we're getting some reaction. Fox Wars Jacob Kilstad is live near 16th and Oak, home of a lot of the impacted businesses there, Jake. Yeah, and under the Royals plan, they wouldn't be staying here. Instead, the Royals envisioned their corporate headquarters coming in, a new hotel, other developments pushing what's already here out. Businesses due east of the former Star Building say there was little communication about this announcement, even when asking direct questions to people in the know. A real sentiment of mistrust has developed. Jill Coxon owns the Chartreuse Saloon. She spent years building up her business. Now she feels betrayed because she expected a different downtown location. It makes no sense to me because the East Village is clearly a when, it, when you come at it from a community impact perspective, it's polar opposite. You know, the East Village is pretty much eight vacant lots ready to go more or less with very, very minimal community impact. Whereas this is a thriving neighborhood that has, people have been putting back together for two decades. Stressed, depressed, angry, um, kind of all the above. Matt Adkins co-owns the pairing Crossroads Wine and Grocery. He understands the appeal of a downtown stadium, but struggles with doing it at the expense of businesses already here. He worries this will put them out of business. It's pretty much the point where it's never not on my mind at this point in time. So um, when I get in bed at night, uh, uh, last thing before I go to sleep, first thing in the morning, um, sometimes in my dreams in between, it's just a, uh, it's, it's a lingering um, nightmare right now. So. So businesses outside of the footprint feeling the opposite. They're very happy and excited about the prospect of new customers coming in to visit them. But again, these businesses that are inside of this space laid out by the Royals, they're already encouraging their customers to vote against the extension of the three-eighths sales tax. We saw some signs out here today, John.